Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about if you should negotiate the salary of your first job. Alright guys so I know that you have been asking me hey Telmo I went to a couple of interviews and I actually got a proposal from one company uh, that they want me they, they want to hire me they send me a proposal but the salary that they the proposal like the salary that they they sent me was was kind of a low is not what I was expecting should I you know like try to negotiate send it back try to increase it a little bit my take in here is I went to something very very similar to this I remember that uh, uh, when 2016 when I got my first job my first job as a web developer the salary was not that great, I remember. I'm gonna share this experience with you and you're gonna tell me if you agree with me or not, all right? The point in here is, nowadays, especially now, of course, there is still a huge demand for web developers. There is a lot of jobs going out, but of course, there is a, a bigger demand for web developers who already have some experience. All of these people who have experience they have advantage over new web developers. This is clear for everyone. And I know some of you already complain, hey, Telmo, it's not that easy anymore. No, of course, it's not that easy because nowadays it's starting to have a little bit more competition, more people getting into the industry. But of course, you, you can still definitely get a job. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is in your first job, if you get a proposal, something that you can go and uh, and actually start working there, don't bother, don't bother with this kind of salary negotiation. What you want is your foot in the door, okay? Once you get into the job itself, in, into, the, into the company, and you can actually put on your CV, on your resume, I have been working for that company for, I don't know, three months, six, three months, it would not be too good, but let's say six months to one year. That's what, that's what I recommend. After you can just, you can just get another job much more easier, you know, because uh, uh, you, you will find it much more easier to find another job because you already have uh, experience in the industry. And now in your second job, that's when you can really upgrade your salary. I'm gonna tell you, I, I did exactly the same thing. So I was like, okay, at the moment, this was back in 2016 when, uh, when I was looking for my first job. I remember that this company, they offered me like a, in, in, in the UK standards, let's say, it was a, kind of a low salary, all right? Uh, it was, I think it was even a little bit less than what I was getting in my um, in my job as a, as a sandwich maker. But uh, I remember to think about this. All right, these guys, they think that they are using me because they are paying me like a, a really low salary for, for, the, for the web development industry, okay? Because compared to other, other um, jobs, maybe it was an okay salary. But, but as a web developer, it was a low salary. I was like... These guys, they think that they are taking advantage of me, but, <laughs> but me, I'm gonna be a bit more smarter than them and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna just take a little bit of time in there. I, I don't know if I took there like six months or eight months or whatever. I'm gonna get to this experience, which actually was really, really great uh, to get this experience in there because I work with many other developers. I practice, I learned a lot about JavaScript and jQuery at the time in that company. Uh, and uh, and one thing that you have to remember is most of the times when you, when, you are, um, when you are going for this first job, you don't know almost nothing. It's, it's normal. It happened to me. Now, for example, when I look back, I know I, oh my God, I, I didn't know almost nothing. Of course, I, I knew the foundations. I knew the basics of HTML, CSS, uh, uh, JavaScript. I knew a little bit how to do a click function, how to build a, a simple website. But it was in the actual job that I was actually, you know, um, improving my skills, learning more JavaScript, learning more jQuery because I was 
now I was just like coding, practicing every day. Not like when you are at home that, oh, today I don't feel like because I'm tired or because I'm going out with my friends or because I have these, these and that to do or because I want to play computer. Uh, all, all of these kind of excuses. In the job itself, you are practicing every day. That's why your skills, when you are in a company, they skyrocket, basically. And remember, this is what I'm telling you. They are paying you a salary, even though it's low, but you are learning. You are learning and they are paying you. It's a good, it's a good trade or not? What do you think? And like I said, they think that they are taking advantage of me when I was getting in there, but I'm taking advantage of them as well, because I'm going to get the experience. They are paying me for it. I get on my CV that I was actually working for this company, which which actually was a really good company. Was um, um, I think if you search on Google, it's called uh, iProspect. They have like uh, offices all over the world. It's a really um, a really big digital agency. Uh, so it was a, a really good thing for me. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, all of a sudden, after this time, I was like, I don't, I don't remember now if it was like six or eight months or, or whatever the time that I was in there. I was like, okay, now I have this time that I have been there. I got my experience. I know I learned a lot. Now it's time to go and look for another job where uh, I can, you know, earn more money, get a better salary and maybe, you know, be a little bit more picky, choose what kind of industry do I want to be working on? What kind of languages, I, if I want to go work with JavaScript, PHP or whatever. At that time, I remember I was learning PHP, so I got a job as a full stack web developer. That I, I only knew a bit of PHP at that time as well, but they, they, they got me the job. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, I hope you can you can really take the, um, the idea that I want to transmit you out of these, uh, this video is really, when when you get this first proposal about this company of course if you see that the company is not good you shouldn't be applying in the first place all right but if you get this proposal of a company like saying that they want to get you they want to hire you don't mind if they are offering you just a little bit of money because i'm, I'm gonna tell you after you have your first job, you have these on your CV, it's gonna be so much easier to get the second job. Re really, trust me, or, or, or uh, search online for other web developers, their, uh, their opinions and everything. So that's it, guys. I hope you could understand something out of this. You got my, my idea. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one.